Hi, okay, let's have a, a quick look at the LaSalle's thermoelectric cloud chamber. Uh, this is a, a unit that will enable you to demonstrate radioactivity without the use of dry ice or water cooling or anything like that. Pretty much everything you need to get this up and running is in the box. So you'll receive a cloud chamber, uh, a radioactive source, which is very weakly alpha emitting, and a small polystyrene biscuit. What I'm going to do is go through quickly how to set this thing up. Um, and then give you a chance to look at some of the tracks that are visible inside it. So once your unit is out of the box, all you need to do is rotate the lid so the slots are open on the top and give you access to the felt. You're going to need some isopropyl alcohol, propan 2 of, and this needs to be applied using a pipette through the slots in the lid until the felt is wet. So we'll do that now. It doesn't matter too much if small amounts of alcohol end up on the bottom of the plate here, but you do need to avoid getting any on any other parts of the unit. So we want this felt to be soaked wet, but it doesn't want to be dripping. So I'm going to use about three pipettefuls here. So that's our unit loaded with alcohol. The supplied source is a metal bar, and we recommend that that's put in this position, at the back of the unit there. Any other alpha source you want to use can be put inside this chamber. We close the lid, and it's really important that the lid is completely closed. In terms of setup, that's it. All we have to do now is turn it on. There are two switches. One controls the main power to the unit, and the second one controls the LED at the back. The LED can be turned off should you wish to have the unit running in a lab and turn it on for the big reveal. Okay, so the unit's been running for about five minutes now, and you can see a square pool of isopropyl alcohol has formed on this plate. You should by now be able to see some tracks being emitted from the rod in that pool. But to improve matters, we supply a polystyrene biscuit here, which needs to be friction charged on an item of clothing or any other fabric you have around. Just a vigorous rub will do, and placed on top of the chamber. That helps clear away some stray ions. What can really improve matters is if you take a soft tissue and gently polish the side of the chamber. This can really improve the tracks that you can see. Now, there are no hard and fast rules with this. If the tracks are visible and they're nice and clear, then don't do anything with these. If you think they could be improved, then you want to try taking the biscuit away completely, or recharging it and replacing it, or again going back to polishing with your cloth. So now let's have a look at some of the tracks that can be seen in the LaSalle's cloud chamber. The long straight lines, you can see the long straight tracks there caused by alpha particles uh, and occasionally you'll see some slightly less well defined, more irregular tracks and they're from beta emission of the daughter nuclei of the thorium. The unit will give good tracks for about 40 minutes with just occasional recharging of the biscuit or polishing with a cloth. Uh, it can be made to run as long as you like by occasionally topping up the alcohol while, it ru while it's running. Simply rotate the lid, add more alcohol again until the felt is wet and reclose. And the unit can be made to run all day using this method. But when you're ready to pack it away, uh, it's important that the ice bubble alcohol is carefully mopped up from the plate. Just use a soft cloth, taking care not to get any of the alcohol on the rest of the unit. It's advisable to open the lid and leave the lid on a side somewhere where the alcohol can evaporate from the felt. And the source should be stored as per your local regulations for radioactive sources. The LaSalle's Thermoelectric Cloud Chamber. Thanks for watching. Bye.